Hey guys, it's Anissa here from Mama Goes Beyond, and today's video is all about getting started with Trello. If you uh, love the idea of getting yourself really organized with Trello, but you're feeling a little intimidated by uh, all the stuff you have to learn, never fear. It's super simple, and in today's video, I will walk you through setting up your first board, setting up some lists, and um, showing you all the things that you can do with your cards. And um, we'll be doing this all on the theme of menu planning, which I know is something, you know, everybody has to eat. <laughs> and usually us moms are the people uh, figuring out how that's all gonna happen. So I will show you all the ways that you can use Trello to um, make your menu planning a lot easier and more efficient. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, stay tuned. So I'm assuming that you already have a uh, Trello account. I've got instructions uh, in uh, the blog post that's linked here about how to get started. It's super easy. You can join just with an email or with um, your Google account. Once you've gotten your Trello account, you now are ready to set up your first board. And to do that, you'll just click this little plus sign right here. And it'll ask you to create a board, create a team, or create a business team. Now, um, creating a team is useful for things like um, sharing chores with your family or sharing a shopping list with your husband. But for today, we're not going to be creating any kind of a team. We're just going to be creating a plain old board. So we'd like to make our board with no team, just a private one. Uh, if you don't make your board private, it will be available to search on Google, which you may or may not like. Um, for our board today, we're just going to make a menu plan. So this is my menu plan. Um, and once you're, you're ready to set it up, you can um, add some nice backgrounds to it. So let's just look at these um, photos for a second and find some that have to do with food. And you can see we have all kinds of options here of just free backgrounds that we can use. Um, I really like this sort of subtle, plain cutting board. We'll click Create Board, and there we go. Um, now we are in our board, um, and we're ready to start a list. Now for a menu plan, uh, you know, there are as many ways to organize it as uh, there are people in the world. But I'm going to do, uh, for my first list, dinner ideas. Then I'm going to click over here, add list. And now I've got the start of a little column here. I've got my board, which is all about um, a menu plan. I've got a column that is dinner ideas. Um, now maybe I want to do this week's dinners. And maybe I also want to add a shopping list. And that's added too. Okay, so now I'm ready to create a card. And on a card here, I'm going to add a recipe. Uh, I'm going to call this Shrimp Scampi because that's a recipe that everyone in my family likes. Now I just clicked on that card, and when I clicked the card, it turned it over and now we see all the things that this card can do um, in the card I have the opportunity to write all kinds of different descriptions I have the opportunity to add people over in this menu section um, that's where I was saying earlier if you wanted to add say your husband to um, a card, I could tag him just on this and say, hey, what do you think about shrimp scampi for dinner? Um, I also have the opportunity to add a label. Um, if I click on this labels, I can add something like 30 minutes or less. Oh, maybe not if I type it that way. <laughs> 30 minutes or less. And now, when I add that label, I know that when I'm scanning through my recipes, all the ones that have this green label can be done in 30 minutes. I could also add things like um, one pot. I could add uh, kid-friendly, those sorts of things. Um, then I also have the ability with uh, this to add a link. 
So if I come over here to my um, recipe box, look for my shrimp scampi recipe. I'll get a link for it, come back to Trello, and now I can add the link to the recipe as an attachment. So now, whenever I'm going to cook this, all I have to do is click right on the recipe and it will take me to the website. So that makes it really easy. Another terrific thing that you can do with this is highlight all these ingredients here and add them right into the description box. Now I've got all of my ingredients there and you'll see why this is so neat in a minute when we go to make our store list. If I have anything that um, I need to add in the form of a checklist, I can do that here. And when I add a checklist, it adds up all sorts of little um, items that you can do. And you can have fun checking them off. And it will let you know on the front of the card how much of your checklist is complete. I can also add an attachment. And this becomes really fun for when you're browsing uh, for dinner ideas. I have a nice photo of my shrimp scampi. I can add it as an attachment. And now it's made it the cover of the card. And you can see here, when my card is showing up in my list, it's showing with this beautiful picture on it. Um, so it really helps when you're trying to think, you know, browse through quickly and then see what you want. Um, now, when it's time for me to make my store list, I can go through, um, copy the ingredients here in the description, add a card for my shopping list. Um, let's see, shopping list, September 29th, 2019. And now I can add this checklist. and add all of my menu items. So you can see how cool that is. If I'm over here dragging in um, ideas for this week's dinners, I just drag this card over there really easy. Um, from one list to another, you just tap it and drag it. I've dragged this over into this week's dinners. I've decided what it is that I'm going to cook. I highlight the ingredients and then just copy paste them onto my card now my um, store list is there, and I can even do fun things with this checklist, like drag um, these things around. So I like to organize my store lists um, in the order of the shop. So, you know, the, all the vegetables are together, all of the, um, the dry goods are together, the dairy stuff is together. And so I know lemons are up at the front of the store, so I can move that up there. I can make sure that my white wine is down at the bottom. Um, maybe white wine needs to be purchased at another store. So I can add even another checklist of things to buy at the, um, the grocery store and things to buy at the wine shop. I mean, there's, there's so many ways to customize this. Um, so yeah, you've got your board, you've got your lists, and you've got your cards, and you can see that there are just a million ways to copy, to, um, customize this. You're going to have so much fun, um, playing with this and organizing everything in your life. I mean, a, a menu plan or a meal plan is just scratching the surface. You'll be able to plan vacations, birthday parties, um, your to-do list, everything can be organized just beautifully with Trello. Um, and I have just scratched the surface of all the things that this can do, but I wanted you to have a little confidence setting up your first board. So good luck and have fun.